Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Today guys we will return back to discussion of the Great British Pound mostly because as you will see on the following time frame charts very important uh, setup right now that provides us some uh, specific opportunities for dealing with the with our long term setup. Uh, that's the first reason. The second reason is uh, mostly uh, the setup that we have discussed uh, yesterday on the euro uh, on the euro currency on the Swiss franc uh, is mostly valid, and it really uh, needs no update right now. That's why I have decided to speak on the Great British Pound because our long-term uh, brand body setup is still in progress, and we should uh, take a look at the development of the setup from time to time. So, by taking a look at the daily chart, we see that tendency to the downside uh, has changed a bit but hasn't been broken yet. So you can see that market has stopped to form lower lows but has not created yet the high highs. So the downward action has stopped but hasn't been cancelled yet totally. At the same time trend here is bullish market stably stand above the weekly pivot point. So in general the picture is moderately bullish. And even yesterday market has tested the weekly pivot resistance one. Downward trend line has been broken here but uh, current action is a bit lazy but maybe this is uh, this probably understandably because uh, market in general still awaits and expect uh, the announcement of the Fed decision uh, today's evening. Uh, so, But at the same time you probably currently can easily catch the shape of this reverse head and shoulders that we have discussed. And right now market um, we could say that uh, has touched the neckline of this uh, pattern. That that as we have suggested and as still as we think, this pattern could become really the triggering pattern for the for the up or upside action if Brent Bada, uh finally will start to work on the monthly chart. Uh, but the major reason why today we have shifted back to the Great British Pound stands on the forward time frame chart. So if you take a look at it. Uh, first of all, take a look at the shape of this head and shoulders pattern. You probably uh, now see it cl clearly. And uh, here probably will be our uh, neckline of this pattern that yesterday has been tested. Market has shown minor retracement and stands slightly below it. But the major reason why, why market has shown this retracement is the existence of the weekly period resistance one as we said on the daily chart. That's also the weekly period resistance one. But now guys take a look, that's by the way the butterfly that we have discussed is the bottom of the right shoulder. But right now take a look at the wide picture of the this area. Here I marked the important moment why I today uh, have decided to speak on the British Pound. Because what we have here guys, that is the bullish grabber. The bullish grabber suggests the taking out of this top at minimum. But simultaneously guys, if this will happen, uh, it, it will mean that market will break through the neckline and that will be the crucial moment, the drastical moment in the overall development as of the long term setup on the monthly chart as the short term setup of this head and shoulders pattern. That's the, why reason, the, the first reason. Second reason, if you have uh, somehow missed the entry as we have speci specified here and has decided here uh, because we said that uh, by our experience the major area and the best area to take the position the reverse head and shoulders at the bottom of the right shoulder because that will let you to place relatively tight stop while if you will will decide to take position at the neckline and break out of the neckline as is usually suggested by the classical approach to the trading it will demand from you it will demand for you the too far stop that will be a really well very risky uh, setup and that will force you to a trade only with a very small trading volume. And here guys occasionally we've got some assistance from the, this stop grabber because as stop grabber from the one point of view suggests the breakout of the neckline at the another point of view it, let, it, it lets you to place tight stop. So 
based on this pattern. So you could place tab slightly lower than the low of this grabber. And if it will fail, it will mean that market will not break through the neckline uh, right now. Okay. Uh, dealing with this tab increases the uh, dealing with the grabber increases the chances of the breakout and makes attractive an attempt to take the long position with the very tight stop that simultaneously will let you to be involved in this long term trade on the monthly chart and at the same time place very tight stop if if you have missed the entry right at the bottom of the right shoulder. That's the major reason why this, today we have decided to speak on the Great British Pound. On the hourly chart, if you'll take a look, you'll see that this recent rally has stopped right at the weekly pivot resistance one. That was the major reason. And I think that if uh, probably we, will, we would not get here the pivot resistance one, market probably could even break through the, this neckline yesterday. But right now you can see that market has shown 618 retracement, almost 618, and now stands on the way trying to return right back to the upside action. So that's why probably guys today uh, will be some kind of the moment of truth on the Great British Pound, so we will see what will happen. But in general this could be treated as the gift and uh, some really uh, nicely, uh, some sort of the uh, favored um, occasion uh, appearing of this uh, stop grabber right near the neckline. Some positive surprise, well, uh, unexpected positive gift, if it could say, from the market. That really could give us a um, great opportunity and a great chance to get the uh, really outstanding risk reward. If even you, will you would like to deal purely with this stop grabber, uh, the risk reward ratio will be very attractive if you, can, you will uh, your target will be just the minimum target of the grabber. Besides, if market even will not continue move high and return right back down, and but taken out of these highs, that also will be the plus for you because in this case you will be able to tighten your stop at the break even and watch what will happen. If market will fail to continue move high and return right back down, you will lose nothing. If market will continue move high and this breakout will be the truth, uh, true breakout of the neckline and the situation with the um, bread and butter monthly will start to work and twist and turn so uh, that will be just perfect that's why guys uh, I think that you should seriously think about this grabber uh, maybe you will find some other uh, opportunities here uh, but I think that's really a very special moment and that you will not meet very uh, often on the markets when you deal especially with the reverse head and shoulders and um, that really could be could provide a great opportunity from the probability point of view